I'm going to say this for the ninth time, and I hope you remember it, every single one of you. If you're not mathematically and habitually OCD about wealth, I completely bet against you 100%. I'm 18 for 18 in a book that I've kept since 2004 when I went into business with a guy that I realized had no chance of making money. To this day, 2024, he's never become wealthy. All he cared about was become wealthy, never pulled it off because one thing, one thing, he was not OCD about details. And every person on earth is getting fooled by thinking it's drop shipping or SMMA or e -com or this that makes you wealthy. No, it's an obsession at a visceral level. That means viscerally your body feels, see when you're OCD, and you don't wash your hands after the bathroom, you feel a sensation on your hands, you feel dirt on them. I don't want you guys that kind of OCD, but this labeling of the split test is so bad that none of you, you have no idea what split test won. There's no clarity. How do you destroy an army? You cut the supply, the communications lines. You should be obsessed with how you name it. You should save it and then be like, oh, I, we walk to the, bathroom and you come back to like no i'm bothered i didn't put the dollar sign i put 497 but it you think i'm joking you ain't smarter than dr david bus conscientiousness is the number one actually validated scientific habit i see all these people that know nothing saying oh here's the five habits of wealthy people lies no science the real science is perfectionism that is the actual subcategory Per, this, this is the worst. If I wanted to teach non-perfectionism, I would teach how you labeled these split tests over the last two months. This is the example. This is the poster boy for, I would wish this on every one of my enemy competitors. May you have a marketing team that labels like this. So it's completely indistinguishable. So you run the raw split test on accident. When your day off, Adam, somebody else comes in, reads the split test wrong and changes the whole thing. A visceral physical reaction to disorganization is, do you think Elon Musk has a little OCD category? Do you think Zuckerberg? Do you think Bill Gates? Did you notice all the wealthiest people in the world are engineer scientists? You, you watch too many movies. <laughs> this, this lazy disorganized inventor became a billionaire. You watch too many, you watch too much Fifty Shades of Grey. Oh, he's a 22 year old tech guy that like spends all his time taking women and getting them to sign contracts and, uh, and it has a dungeon room. Dad, Dad, and you watch too many movies. I'll tell you this. People underestimate how much movies and media has tricked people into thinking what the archetype of a wealthy person is. Pretty much the archetype right now is the nerdy OCD scientist has ruled the world for the last 20 years. And do you think it's going to increase with AI and quantum computing? Oh, yeah. There'll be some nerdy OCD scientists, two of them, that have more money than the bottom 75% of the entire world. It's already happening. Stop it. The, the sloppy entrepreneur who wakes up and doesn't have literal OCD about, oh, wait, it's organized. The, 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 my Facebook ad structure is weird. I got to go in and fix it or I can't sleep today. That guy will be wealthy. And the one that you saw in the movies about the swashbuckler pirate who just, you know, he wears dirty clothes and then he has this crazy idea and then he patents this thing. That hasn't worked for a hundred years, man. And even a hundred years ago, Henry Ford was the wealthiest guy in the world and he was OCD, so he changed his whole company. So one dude just changed the lug nuts on the tire. That's all he did. He was so OCD, he couldn't handle people doing two things. And he became the wealthiest person in the world. And before him in the 1800s, who was the wealthiest guy? One of them, besides Carnegie and Rockefeller, Thomas Edison. He had 1,000 experiments going with filaments. He tested 900 filaments for the light bulb. Do you think that guy was a sloppy guy? I woke up and he had dirt on his... No. He was an OCD dude. He's like, change the filament by one micron here. Try this different... Of course, it's been this way since probably Industrial Revolution, which is roughly the 1600s. So yes, but even then, I bet you Genghis Khan, what was Genghis Khan's secret? He had a different way of attacking and retreating. He used small horses. He would attack, he would retreat. So, because he was so OCD, the English in the Revolutionary War were idiots. They would just march into bullets, no OCD. 
Whereas the local Americans, the rebels were OCD. They're like, we don't like to get shot. So we're going to hide behind a tree so that we stay bulletless. It's been this way that people had it, that Viet Cong and the Vietnam War whipped America's ass, superpower. Now, we whipped them back pretty bad. They lost a couple million people. But if you look at the arms that we had versus them, they won. We were treated from Vietnam. Why? These dudes were OCD. They had little traps everywhere. They had no, you couldn't win. You think they were sloppy? Like the Viet Cong just sat in their thing and said, okay, guys, what should we do today when Americans come? How about we just shoot? No, they were digging holes two months before, packing it with little rice so one dude could sit down in a hole for two months waiting for one American trooper to come up and he would sh jump up and shoot him. That's OCD, baby. That's a planner and a perfectionist at a level that's unknown. Germany, two world wars, almost beat the world twice. I like what Norman MacDonald said. He's like, Germany had a plan to take on the world. And they almost won two times. Did you know that the Germans started planning World War I in 1891? And World War I happened in 1918. They started 27 years before. There was a guy named Mulkey. They had a plan. When they initiated the war, they calculated how many rail cars per minute would go by a landmark city to invade France. I can't, I was either Clausewitz or Mulkey on his deathbed. He was repeating this OCD phrase. Make sure the sleeve of your westernmost soldier rubs against the English canal. Because he was obsessed with when you come through Belgium, the German forces have to go all the way to the ocean with the last man. They said, let his sleeve brush the water, meaning... The French couldn't come flank them around the left side because he was obsessed with using the English canals as a natural barrier so they could sweep down in and the Germans kicked the French's ass. And World War I, they fought the world and almost won. And World War II, 20 years ago, because Germans are so OCD. What's the wealthiest country in Europe? Germans. Do you think Japanese are? What's the wealthiest countries in the world? Besides the U.S., you have Japan. Tokyo is a $1 trillion city. And Germany's high up there in top five GDP. And America's the land of Indian engineers move here and Asian engineers. 60% of American Fortune 500 companies are run by Asians. Why? Because they're taught from a little kid, obsess over micro details. Do you think the NVIDIA guy who has a $3 trillion company? Asian dude, obsessed with math and numbers. All the American guys who aren't Asian are the similar personality type. You got lied to in school, brother. You got this. Oh, I'm a swashbuckling. I build funnels and I come up with that. I'm not a detail guy. You know how many entrepreneurs have done? I'm not, a, I'm not a detail guy. I'm like a big fish. Oh, you're a poor guy. What are you talking about? Uh, you know what I mean? Really a detail guy. Like I outsourced like my C. Shut the f up. They'd be snatching podcasts away from people. If you want, I, I I want that guy to be my competitor. I see the guy. I, I'm not really a detail guy. I'm like a big picture guy. That's 99% of entrepreneurs. And some of you have been brainwashed by that. I don't need any. Big, I'm big picture enough for this entire company. I only need detail guys. And, and I'm also a detail guy. I'm also a detail guy. You think Steve Jobs is a big pin a big pincher guy? I don't really look at the iPhone. I just fucking What do you mean? He would go obsess over one micro he'd be like, ah, we can't ship. Uh we spent a billion dollars on these new iPhones. Throw them in the trash. I will not ship till that micro cur. Have you ever seen a Tesla? Have you ever seen the unlock the door? Elon was obsessed about the door. It's like throw the button. I don't even like how Tesla did it, but I know he obsessed about it. Do you think he's getting man on Mars because he's a big picture guy? One year, big picture guy tries to apply for my company. I'm going to, my first question on hiring is just quick question. Are you more of a detail guy or a big picture guy? Oh, big picture. Hit a button and dude drops in is eaten by sharks. No, no, I have a better plan. 
press a button and I give them a referral to my biggest competitor. Oh, I can't hire this guy because I can't afford him, but he's really good. You should hire him. He's a really big, big picture guy. Don't ever be a big picture guy for me. I'll tell you, when you get to Coral or Red Belt, you're allowed to be a big picture guy. In a decade, call me back. In a decade. Have you done your 10 dark years? That I could talk about. When you've done your 10 dark years, call me. You ain't in it. Dark years. You know what the dark years are? The 10 years of where you were a hyper detail person executing small orders to perfect. After 10 years of that, call me and I'll elevate you to a big picture guy. Call me and let's say you got two years in. Call me in 2032. I'm here. Let me book it on my Google calendar. 2032, October 1st, we can have that talk. You haven't earned the right to be a big picture guy. Your intuition's not honed enough. Not honed enough. Some people say it's 20,000 hours to hone a chess master intuition to be a big picture guy. 20,000 hours is approximately 20 years. You could also put on my Google calendar, Adam, 2042. Call me in 2042. Maybe a big picture guy. And by the way, I know some of you are listening are like, I'm going to make him a millionaire. Okay. Buffett started at nine, filed his first tax return, became a billionaire at 51. Are you smarter than almost the highest IQ business guy in history? Elon started at 12 and he became a billionaire, I think, at 42. Are you smarter than Elon and Buffett? Give me a break. If you want to be wealthy, text me in 2042. You might figure out how to make a million. You know how many people I know made a million, but they're sloppy and they lose it all? Of course. Get wealthy is one thing. To keep it is another. No more big picture people around me. Only Ben. Ben started, Ben's in the past 15 years working with me. Maya, past 15 years working with me. No way. No, no, no one else even close. Some of you are at the first day of your 10 or 20 years with me. Or with anybody. It's not even with me. You're not going to beat these odds, man. I, I laugh at the guys I tie. I know you usually lose your money in Vegas, but the world loves me and the universe rewards me so I can just win in Vegas. No, you can't. You ain't beating these odds. No.